orange coat. You don't normally wear orange, do you? So, do you know, I orange do, yeah. is, the, is the, the colour of emotion. And it's because he's all loved up, he's, he's started to wear orange. I'm very excited that he's out for these three days with me. Anyway, we are going to do... So I thought, well, why don't we just go up Snowdon? I'm sure it'll be lovely up there. It won't be windy or anything. And uh, we thought, oh, it's going to be wet, so why not climb a waterfall? Because that'll be safe. So, um, yeah, wish us luck. It's meant to be a grade two. I'm sure we'll turn it into grade three plus. <laughs> We've got no climbing gear, so I hope it's not that bad. We're going up this path. Here we go. Go on, go up there then. Go, go, go. Oh, oh is that where we're going, up there? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Without practice. There's a, no just walk on ahead and ignore me like before. What's happened to you? Look at him. Hello, mate. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. Did not think I would be having it be dry and seeing gorgeous views. Oh, beautiful. Are you serious? Look at this. Right, okay. We're going to the, going through them or what? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go up Black, Buck Main, right? And we're right by Snowdon. Are we going to go to Snowdon Peak? What? We're doing what? N no! I just want to walk to the peak of Snowdon. What the hell? You will go up there with me, won't you? If it's not raining, we'll do that bit. That's this beautiful waterfall. It's a lovely route right along the river. I think I was going walking up in a t-shirt. Oh, I'm absolutely boiling. It is just beautiful today. It's a bit cloudy up there though. The orange coat is off. Look at that. Beautiful. Said I'm exhausted. I'm not mountain fit at all. I'm sweating. How are you feeling or is it just me? I'm to say I'm feeling fantastic or not. We've both had colds. So I'm gonna blame it on that. So beautiful. I'm so happy it's not raining. I'm still huffing and puffing. This is the bend of the Watkin Path. I'm not, I might be mountain fit, but I'm not Sid mountain fit, that's for sure. Just gone off route now. Do I feel like I'm walking off the edge? <laughs> Maybe this isn't it. It's very, very wet, oh my God. Oh! Would I recommend it to a friend? No. No, I wouldn't. I don't know, where do you think we should go? Turn around, so can we? We just sent me in the middle of the wettest part of the hike. That looks cool. It's clear enough to hopefully see this couloir. I like that name. I think we found it. It is up that. Somewhere down there, isn't it? In there somewhere, yeah. It's like a little troll bridge, isn't it? Who's that under my bridge? What? We do have to find this. I'll be well chuffed. I bet you don't know what we're today. <laughs> Sun's come out for us. Oh my god, this is amazing. We're so lucky. Isn't it, That does look like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I think once you've got over there... It'll look... Even more. Yeah, I agree. Where are we going down here? Because we end up in the water. Oh, really wet. So I go and test it all out and find out it's drenched, then he avoids it. I've never done the walking path. Well, I have done it before, but very rarely. I'm always up the pig track. I always go from the other side of the mountain. This has been amazing. Really so grateful for the weather. And um, yeah, highly enjoyable so far. I feel very confident with this. I think our route finding. That's me. We've been very lucky. Oh, we're good today. But um, it's nothing like a pile of stickle got us in the right pickle. We were lost all day on that. Because this, we haven't got there yet, but it doesn't seem as bad. And we go over here. You know, it's absolutely lovely. One thing I really like about this route so far is that it feels as if no one's been here. It genuinely feels, um, I know, untouched. Here. That's what I mean. 
to be back in the mountain. But to do routes that no one's on, there's a whole different ball game. It just feels amazing. And I think very few people, well, obviously people have done it, but I don't think this is a route that many people would have done. That's why Sid's not done it yet, which is unusual, because he's done everything, <laughs> nearly. But we found it. It's not going to be jumping for joy, though. It started raining, yay. Well, this looks humbling, to say the least. So what we're meant to do is go up around this, and this is the grade two -y bit. And then that's meant to be easy. It's not even graded, that bit. I'm rating this approach. That's one out of ten. It is grueling. The only benefit is I'm getting fitter from it. But other than that, I hate it. I'm so tired. <laughs> so up close, it doesn't go that high. I'm feeling better now I'm closer to it, to be honest. And, uh, this has been ahead the whole time, but I just overtook him. What oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. Oh dear. This has been flying around. Hopefully it's not thinking we're absolute nutters. What's it doing? It's coming towards us. Oh dear. It's, we, we're fine. Leave us alone. So, he knows how to pick a good line, Sid. He's already up there. The uh, quartz in the rock, you can see, it's all like woven in. There he goes. A bit wet. The rock's relatively good though for a wet day. Well, it wasn't raining for the whole of the day. We've got a nice walk in. Sid's taking me up the hardest part. There he is. Trying to get my heart rate up, which she is. Take my alternative path. The helicopter is literally just bloody tracking us. It's very annoying. Go away! Literally stalked by a helicopter, and it's really unnerving. You can't, you can't climb when you've got that stupid thing following you all the time. It's scary. It is stalking us, isn't it? Take an alternative route. Very, very wet in the gully. I'll tell you what, a bit nerve wracking. I couldn't hear him. All I can see is this orange thing. I thought it was his body. Found a way in. Ooh. Yay! It's insanity. I'll go up there. Bloody sent me up first, didn't he? But it was really fun. I loved it. Both my hands are freezing. You can barely feel. I think it's very misty. Just found this. Fun, isn't it? Easy. Good quality sustained scrambling. I didn't expect it to be as good, did you? Shorter. But it's very interesting. Like I've really enjoyed the moves on it and stuff. Good, like it's a two plus for sure. Woo! Epic, love the weather. Can't wait to feel my fingers again. High bit of the mountain, but look, oh, it is still beautiful. And this is where we're going. Like down, just down that way. It does, it's actually water. And that's what we've just been climbing up, that cloud. <laughs> what are you doing? We could have gone down this. He's doing that. This is why, no, I think he why? She's on a walking path. Why would she possibly be wearing a helmet? Well, I just took a reasonably epic fall where um, I went down like three levels. I kept just screaming, just being like, I've, I've, I've fallen. Oh, my bum is so damaged. And right at the bottom, where nothing bad could really happen, Sid was there, and he put his arms out to stop me, which I thought was a beautiful moment. I feel almost touched by it. Out of, every, out of both of us, he's the most damaged though. 
which is a sad part of the story, although I haven't checked my damages yet. But let's have a look at your foot. Jesus Christ, I need to his leg, man. That's terrible. It's not from a rock. That's apparently from my foot. Do you reckon it's from my foot? So clumsy. Him. Put your hat. <laughs> the second floor of the... The descent is very dangerous, just so you know. Right from on your shorts, dude. It's probably the only pair he's got. Is it the only pair you got for holiday? Oh no! Right. So I mean, he's always so smart, pup. Anyway, just to say, on that last fall that I had, I was going backwards. So I basically went to put a foot down, and then I thought, oh, I'll just do a little jump. And as I kind of fell, I just went, and uh, yeah, and I fell backwards, backwards, backwards. Yeah, it's going to end up just cracking my head on the ground. I'll keep my helmet on. It's the only safe way down. Look at this glorious day down here. At least you can see, you know, when you've got visibility. Oh, it's just stunning. Look at this. Look at him in his beautiful orange coat. Oh, he's rolling over again. And as I did, he did. We literally fell over at the same look at this time. Unbelievable. Dangerous. So I did do a roundup yesterday of uh, the amazing, I think it's called Tregland Couloir, going up Snowdon, um, but then I lost it. So I didn't think it was only a one star, but I personally would have graded it a lot higher. I thought it was a brilliant route yesterday. I Loved it. Bit of a long walk in, that's the only problem. We gave it an eight out of 10, didn't we? Yeah, eight. Um, go back in. Yeah, and it'll probably be a higher. It'll probably go up to a nine. Why would you give it an eight? Uh, I love the area. I've not been there before. Quite interesting, quite sustained. I'll bring you out in a good spot. Yeah, oh yeah, straight onto a path. It was amazing. The wettest, slipperiest path. Go this side, so he's still here. There he is. I love that orange jacket. Um, yeah, and also like really good quality climbing. And it was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. When you finish through the gully, you've got loads left. Um, so yeah, great quality route. I also will be going back in the summer. Maybe we'll both go back in the summer at the same time on the same day. Who knows? 